That was dumb. Ah, come on. <laughs> hey bro, yeah so I tried to reload the game, didn't realise that it would cut off the broadcast, so sorry about that. Thanks for coming back Smithy. Yeah so I, I basically closed GT7 to reload it so that it would get into race C because it's got an unexpected error and I didn't realise that was going to cut everybody off, so <laughs> sorry about that. And we've missed the race, the entry time anyway, so... Whether I uh, whether I manage to solve the issue or not is another thing. So we're just going to give it another crack. Um, I'll load up Digit's time here. I load up his time because I watched him uh, on YouTube on how he was driving the car and kind of trying to remember what he said about all the corners and I can obviously then just try and follow his car. Yeah, exactly. I know not to turn off the game, basically. Close the app. I guess uh, everybody that was watching uh, will now know that don't close the app because it closes off your broadcast. Oh, I went a bit wide there. Alright, oh, he's... Um, on YouTube as Digit Gaming, exactly how you've spelt it there, um, Digit. And uh, which country is he from? Czechoslovakia, I think it is. That could be a real insult to him. So, sorry, I don't know which country he's from, but he's from a country that he isn't actually able to compete, even if he was fast, and, and he is one of the fastest in the world in my opinion anyway by his results uh, because his country won't, wouldn't allow it I don't think it's already pulled a tenth or so on me I just can't quite see the end of that message, but um, he does live streams and he does uh, track guides for the race each week, generally on Monday nights. So he tends to stream in the evening. Um, another guy who's really fast and they end up playing in the same, um, same lobbies as Key and Wind, if you know who they are, um, is Aura, A-U-R-A. So he's got a YouTube channel as well, and he's not all just racing, he actually likes to play other games as well, so um, I just race really, kind of all I know, all I'm good at, shoot em up games, nah I'm not that good. <laughs> Just take some of the grass. I'm about a second off where I need to be. Keep going though, because uh, I've seen people behind me and myself make up time in the back. Don't hit the grass though while you're trying to do that. 
gives us another crack at it. I think second gear kind of works a little bit better just to pull the nose in there. Ah, oh, yep. They're all good players, eh? Key's crazy fast, Wynn's crazy fast. Scott Senior, I was racing uh, when I got third. I was right behind them. But managed to hit the wall because I met Eve. Oh, that wasn't a great line at all through there. Yep. Try and hold it. Don't hit. Don't go over that curve. You can see it's a bit of an iterative process sometimes. So the ghost is set uh, one tenth offset to me because I want to try and follow him close. Uh -huh. Yeah, he won, won the race I was in. You can take plenty of grass there and it doesn't affect your turn in on this corner. Same there, really. I was watching, um, what was Polyphonia uh, Sophie? Um, Polyphony Digital's AI and she um, takes an awful lot of grass. It's not going to make it. <laughs> so, yeah, if you hear it, I think it was in Gran Turismo Sport. She had been trained and she did world record 618. Is that in a Group 4 car, I think? A uh, Group 3 car? Yeah. And yeah, some of the lines she took, I mean, they're, they're valid lines, you don't get a penalty. And technically speaking, you get grip. Um, well, you, get, you don't get penalised. Why am I in fourth? Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, a lot. So I'll, I'll give it a go this lap actually. So up here where Digit's on the road, she goes on here on the grass and then turns in just on that sort of um, side road there. I probably took too much grass and didn't turn in at the right time, but I've, I even watched Scott Senior I think actually do it, Scotty Senior do it, and he could make it work. So gives you a slightly wider entry point so technically speaking you'll carry more speed through that corner right and you know a couple of k's an hour you've got that whole straight yeah so this time I'll pass by it and I'll turn in at it but I won't actually go on the grass because I haven't got those mad skills yo Yeah, so she was taking the grass kind of like I was, probably a little bit more aggressive just through those. So just up here on the left, right here. There on the grass and then just that little side row that just helps that tyre dig in and, and go around the corner. It's pretty awesome. Then up here, and even I've done it in races, I'm going to do this flat and I'll show you. You turn in here, all that grass, it doesn't affect the car. It doesn't even affect it on this corner here. 118.4, not bad. So you can go flat around that corner, it 
your two right wheels are on the tarmac, but your lefts are on the grass, but they're unloaded, so they're probably just hovering above the grass almost, you know? Oh, nice. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's fast. Bit wide there. Brake a little earlier, get the car turned in and get on the acceleration. Yeah. Kind of like that. Miss, hit, miss. Miss. Miss hips just a bit wide. Just trying to hold the speed around that um, that hip, and it's pretty tricky. Dab with the brakes, turn in and power early. Oh, caught it. Sheesh. That almost snapped my wrist off. Breaking up the sign. Accelerate. Ah, uh, no. Didn't need to hit the middle there. Hit the apex. Right, going over the curb in this car is alright, because it's a bit heavier and it takes the curbs quite nicely. The old chicane of death last week, it was pretty good. No, it's not, so it's a Fanatec uh, DD Pro, shouldn't be in sixth. Uh, Fanatec DD Pro with a, what is it, eSports F1 V2 wheel um, and V3 pedals and I am sitting in a play seat challenge, kind of just a fold up play seat. It's pretty comfy though. Yep, I splurged. So I got some tax back from doing some overtime. Ah, did it again. I need to carry more speed in. And I decided that I would use areas um, link and got the Fanatec wheel. Yeah, it is. It's made a big difference. The the feel is is really good. <laughs> hey, Aura, good to see you, man. Yeah, I'm trying to become an alien like um, Digit Aura Key Wind. <laughs> you guys. Thanks for stopping by, man. We're just talking steering wheels. Yeah, so I've just been losing time all over the place at the back here. You can see digits way ahead. Haven't quite got the uh, the flow going just yet. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was wide and fast. If you were in a real car, you'd be sweating. you find in a G29? And which cockpit was it? Oh, a GTO Mega one? Ugly lap. 705 plus. 
I was thinking about getting a GT Omega cockpit, or I think they call it a Prime cockpit, and putting a screen on it. I'm sitting in front of the lounge TV, it's like 55 inch. She's a bit big, I think, in a way. I mean, nice, don't get me wrong, but a bit of overkill maybe. too deep. It's alright, we've got a Delta. I like that Delta just above the, the gear, so you can just kind of see where you're doing a bit better. And if you're trying different lines or trying to break a little later, whether it makes you up time or not. I think that's where um, Assetto Corsa, or, well actually the best is I racing because it's a little bar graph, right? Aha, uh -huh, GTI Amiga. Yeah, I understand that for sure. If you don't, uh, haven't driven anything else here, yeah, can't quite tell whether it's better or not. I had a Thrustmaster T, T3. 100 RS Ferrari Alcantara and it uh, comes with pedals as well really nice wheel um, just at going to direct drive you it's exactly what everybody tells you you feel more on the road and that's really important the amount of spins and slides that I've caught now having a direct drive is just you know night and day compared to you know a really good wheel before and the pedals and the pedal feel are just way better as well oh I'm way behind 146 so we're still are we almost at qualification time I think we are actually let's just have a look whether we can enter the race now so yeah the investment you, you do get a reward out of it and if you drive a lot then it's definitely worthwhile I think I mean I really love driving I pretty much drive every day in some way shape or form I mean on the game that is all right let's see if it's got an unexpected error or not this time well come on I think it's going to do it again. That sucks. If we can't enter, we can't race. Have a bit of a drink. You got to start somewhere, right? I think, I think that's a really good wheel, right? The G twenty nine, G nine, two three. Oh, was it happening yesterday? It's annoying. I've literally only been able to enter two races. Well, I, I want to improve my qualifying time anyway, so same same. But I'd like to get some competition going. Uh, it's not going to make a difference, I think. <clears throat> Went to the wrong menu. I meant to go backwards to here and then come in. Enter with my current car. <laughs> yeah, man. Bumper cars are good fun. Go-karts, bumper cars. I love doing the old public go-karts. They're pretty cool. There's one up the road, and I've lived here for a year. I still haven't been there. I mean, how bad is that? I mean, beautiful sunshine. I'll tell the wife we're going go karting. 
and try one again. Come on, man. No good, bro. Is Aura? I don't even know if I'm friends with Aura on this um, this account. I don't think I am. Uh, rent it. I'll see if just renting a car helps, right? So rent it. Rent the beast, and we'll go silver, like a bullet, and see if that works. Come on, I'm using your game now, your car game. I'm renting it off you for no money. Imagine if these were real rental cars and they get extra kilometers. Sometimes they won't be serviced properly, all that sort of stuff. So you, you can rent it. Yep, definitely got some big hitters in here. I guess, look, at the end of the day, it's like anything, um, people are just people, and you can only just send people a, a friend's request and see what happens, right? And, um, you know, at the end of the day, from my uh, sort of point of view, I try and actually be their friend, <laughs> as in don't hit them off the track, actually race with them and maybe uh, say hello to them and chat or something like that. And um, and then friend request them, right? Uh, and some people do, and some people don't. Totally understand it. But, you know, I watch Aura and Wind and Key and Areas. I I guess I support Areas for sure, so I, I'm subscribed to his channel, um, you know, and, uh, you know, I go on there every day. I'm an admin and forum or moderator, whatever you call. Aura I say day to and Digit, same. So yeah, there's some pretty fast peeps. All right, we're just going to do oh corn beef. He's there, nice. Ah, triple one. Call the doctor. So um, let's go to qualifying time trial. Try and enter one more time. If we want to do a qualification lap, then we've only got seven minutes to do it. 7.07, we've already missed. All right. This is boring watching me trying to get into a race, which I can't get into, but you can try and watch me qualify better than a 7.03.9. So let's jump on the ranking board. Grab digits. Um, ghost. At least that's a success, and let's go. Try again. Foose has actually got a um, YouTube channel, and he did this really awesome, um, like a feature movie almost, it's like 27 minutes or something. It's in Russian, but it's got English subtitles, um, and it's really, really well done. I don't know what he does, um, you know, whether it's just a hobby or whether he's sort of a film producer or editor or I don't know, but it's really well done. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think that's a good way to go through there at all. Let's try that again. A bit too aggressive. Close to the wall. <laughs> Touch the wall. That's the start of the left. No worries. So early on the gas, flat through here. Probably didn't need to change up so early.
taking the grass, a little bit too much break there, a little bit too much grass there, lost some time. Yeah man, Busa hasn't really done anything recently, um, he doesn't tend to live stream by the looks of it, but um, yeah that one movie I think was from maybe four years ago, something like that, four years, four months ago. Yeah, I think Aura's um, from Germany. And uh, yeah, he's, he live streams and he's really fast, so it's kind of on par with uh, Key, Wind and Digit. Here. Feel free to go have a look, man. I reckon that's great. <laughs> Basically about the, the rise of a um, Toyota Supra in the game. I guess you could liken it to one of those Japanese car movies, manga movies in a way. And some of the shots that he's done, um, I just don't know how you get that out of the game to be honest so he must have a race maybe with his friends or something and they they can get him some of those shots from the replays I guess plenty of grass there The ghost is offset by a tenth, so we're already down probably four tenths, five tenths. Best is like a 44-1 through there. Yeah, he's high energy key. Yep. He yep, gets uh, pretty intense sometimes. He, um, good reason. It's good to watch. Eighteen four, not bad. I think that's closer to my best. I might have made up a little bit of time. Bit too much grass there. Lost, lost half a second, I reckon. Little dab of the brake. I've gone off there too many times. Too deep. See, just little errors, you know? That's what adds up around this lap. Yeah, for sure. Definitely competitive. Oh, way too late on the brakes. Lucky I held that. Yeah, I mean, doing this as a job versus, you know, just doing it for fun. I think there's an intensity there as well, right? Just, you want to perform and... He definitely makes it interesting doing his last to first with wind. I couldn't afford to do that. I'm too slow. Like, I can qualify all right. You know, a 703 is not bad, right? I mean, we're, we're getting up there in the rankings, but, um, you know, those guys are 659. They can, they can rattle out a 701 on this track.
but I guess you know when you play out a lot and you get used to everything then you'll get there I'll get there Way too much speed. Hit the grass. That would have been awesome to watch from behind. Carry more speed in, let it go around. That's a bit better. Trying to figure it out. <laughs> I get you now. Yep. Watch Dead Eye Del Boy as well. Um, he's quite cool. And uh, Tijni. Uh, Andrew Racing. He's over in the States. Watched a little bit of, there's another guy over there, uh, Z28. Uh, what else do I watch? Oh, Chapel Getty, he's in the Philippines. So when there's the, um, the Grand, Grand Turismo World Series and the races on, then he's in the South Pacific, so he races in the morning of the race that we would do at night in Europe so it's good to watch him you can just generally he puts together a practice lobby as well so I've joined that a couple of times so that you can work out uh, race strategy race pace uh, we're a bit off we're not going to improve our time this lap Six eighteen or so split. Six seventeen, so maybe a seven oh five. I think watching others really does help um, you know develop uh, your understanding of it. <laughs> Yeah man, he's really good to watch too, because um, he calls out his breaking points and all that sort of stuff. If you're a member, then he gets um, he gives you a, a lap guide breakdown. He kind of approaches it the same way that I do, I guess, and probably a lot of people do. Rather than work out the track 100% yourself, you know, just load up a ghost. Um, load up a replay, watch them kind of memorize the major breaking points if you can, then load up a ghost like this and just follow them around. So this is Digit Gaming's uh, ghost for those of you who are wondering. Oh, too much grass there, but don't think it penalised us too much on the exit. 44.1, I think that's the best I've ever done. And I know that Digit didn't quite get that corner right, even though I touched the grass, didn't lose any um, any momentum. And I know that he lifts off on this corner and I can go through it flat. Well, everybody can, but it's just what the car does. See how it does a skid in the middle there? So if you lift off a little bit, you're trying to avoid that skid in the middle. 
so I don't think it really matters whether you go flat or you do a little bit of a lift just try and carry the speed it's not a bad lap he's 6.59.5 There's a sign on the right hand side just as you come there's like a, a dip on the way up into that corner and there's a sign and if you turn in there then you uh, might be able to go through it flat. I don't think it matters though is what I'm trying to say. Been a little bit slow through that section. Keep it in third and just get on the power early flat through here miss hit miss 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 hit <laughs> just keep, need to brake a bit earlier there trying to carry too much speed in the way oh that was a nice rotation there thank you car second down so we're doing well for the first part of the lap and then we just kind of um, messed up the lap a little bit from here still time over the back here though so we'll just carry it on I want to try and get used to flowing the car best way to do that is just keep driving it right yep I'm behind by 0.6 but what happens if I flow the car really well and end up 0.6 ahead at the end as well you know could be on for a best time or or not. Sometimes you surprise yourself. Now this is a lift and a little dab of the brakes. It's pretty tricky. Oh no. <laughs> and I messed it up so that's gonna not do so well. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. Carry a bit more speed into the carousel. Yep. <laughs> By the skin of my teeth, man. and curbs I probably shouldn't be. Uh, Got away with it. I'm being a grass cutter today. Come on, get some flow. not quite breaking early enough on some corners and a little bit too early on others so look at that almost half a second and just one one corner I mean add up all the corners Fastest time in the world's like 6.57 now, I think. That's fast. Oh man, way too late. Oh, that was not a good exit either. Look at the uh, delta. Down, down, down. 
so we're on for a 706 it's crazy man the other day I was doing this in group 3 and I was just lap after lap getting a uh, slightly better you know half a second one second or something like that got down to 6 minutes 30 in the BMW M6 I was actually doing the circuit experience one right 6 minutes 30.5 but in the group fours, I think it's just so easy to not only make up time but lose time. So right, try this again. Go flat. Break it now. Didn't quite get on the accelerator early enough. Well, that's never happened before. Yeah, it's tricky man, the M6 is a nasty beast, right? It can reward you and punish you all at once, you know? Like you can go into a corner and power out of it and it's just this awesome, you know, turbo kick in the pants drive out of the corner and you can do the same thing, or you think you're doing the same thing, and the damn thing will spit you off the track. So I just turned right in there and on, at the sign and held it flat. So you can definitely do it flat. You can definitely take the grass and it doesn't affect your next right hand corner coming down into the foxhole. Oh, we're having a mare again. Come on. almost the second down and then ate it back up again oh no two tenths that for heartbreaking I'll use the rotation to my advantage so to speak I tried to do earlier and lighter and hit the wall. Miss it, miss. Alright. Do it again. I think sometimes you just have to be a little bit tenacious about it and learn from your mistakes. Take a break if you're just in one of those periods where, you know, you just can't kind of get the flow. Oh, I just hit that on the way in. Oh, I was hoping I'd hold it. <laughs> no go. So, so much for chasing uh, 659 at the moment. We're just a little bit off the pace. Better exit, nice. Stop hitting the limiter. At the start of the session. Oh. Wow. Yeah, man. Unforgiving for sure. One lap attack. Maybe I'm just trying a bit too hard at the minute. Just 
need to relax into it a little bit more than um, trying to push so hard, you know. Yeah, the circuit experience is quite good though. Um, putting you in different cars, which is quite cool. I mean, before they fixed the physics um, in the game, I basically ruled out the M6. <laughs> it was just so hard to drive um, to get the circuit experience gold the first time before they updated the physics and the back end was a little bit less like driving on ice. nice through there and made up a bit of time. Right we're gonna go flat um, the sign on the right here and turn in. Let's go flat. Oh big slide. Managed to hold it. Sometimes get it bang on, sometimes I don't. Oh, was it? I thought it was uh, all the FR cars, they worked out something with the suspen rear suspension so they're a bit easier to drive. But if it was just the um, M6, well they did an okay job. I have to say, mid-engine cars are just horrible to drive. Now, I don't know whether it's now or... I love driving the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, but um, for some reason it's just this pendulum type of car now. Coming okay, hot in there. Not bad though, made up some time I think on my own lap. We're doing okay here, doing okay. Just relaxing a little bit rather than being so intense about it man. Yeah, I've seen some really good times, that's for sure, so... I tried driving the Viper, and it was okay, but I think it wasn't very forgiving, that's what I found, so... You know, this, if I brake a little bit too deep, it's actually going to kick out the back and point me into the corner, and I can recover it, and if I... Uh, understeer a little bit, you can actually just turn harder, turn more, and it will actually respond, so uh, the Viper just tended to be, you've got to get it online, and when you do, it's really good. Little touch, ah, grass, sheesh. I think the seat is in my butt cheeks now. Clenched hard then, that's for sure. So on Digit's lap he did exactly the same thing, so I guess I'm doing okay. Oh yeah, the Corvette. That's a bit of a beast too, right? I mean, technically on this track, the M6, the Corvette, the... Um, <laughs> yeah, I thought you might like that. Uh, those cars should be really good. The other thing is the Jaguar F-Type, right? Because they're really fast in a straight line. I think it's just... Um, getting the flow with the car, you know? And then something that can keep up on the straights.
Yeah, the Genesis. Um, I raced. Oh, Scott Senior had. Oh, he was in the Genesis. I think we lost a little bit off the back here. Yeah, for sure. Mind you, this. This is the most important part of the lap on Nurburg, really. Why? Because it's towards the end, people are getting a bit fatigued and there's lots of corners that you need to flow. Definitely closer here, might be close to my best time. Except I went wide. Damn it! And that ruined that lap. If it was going to be a little bit faster than 7039, it would have needed to have been a better exit there. You know you've got a good exit because you hit 251 as you're going up the hill and it kind of just holds it and we're going to hit probably 250 just 249, Ugh. 2 k's an hour slower just because of that wide entry to the main straight There's no real opportunity to make it up now unless you're um, awesome under brakes through here alright oh we made it up in the last little bit what was I just saying okay so we've gone uh, three tenths quicker <laughs> after seven minutes of driving <laughs> I think that's the heartbreaking thing like happened to you Smithy with the um, 0.3 of a second you missed the circuit experience yet alright I'd be a bit heartbroken if I got down to seven minutes point two or something like that Uh, quite a nice opening section here. 44 is kind of my best. The 44 triple one for the ambulance. Didn't turn in too early. Managed to hold it ish. But we've lost time now. Right, try and get in a bit earlier this time. You saw right, I took all of that grass. And look, I can still grip on this corner. 18.4, not too bad. Made up the time we lost. Oh, that was late break into the... couple of tents in there that's for sure well the advantage we just had we just lost was nice line until I hit the grass and then I managed to hold it but we've lost time yay that's the Nürburgring though man you're gonna make two tenths we lose two tenths pretty easy so we were two 
two and a half tenths up. Now we're only two tenths down. Mid corner there, it just kicks the back out. So something mid corner that just unsettles the car. And it was good exit, but uh, cost us a little bit. Just that mid mid corner. Right, we've got to get this kink right. So lifting off the gas and a little, just a brush of the brakes sort of thing, you know. Just too wide. Such a good start to the lap, and now we're a second down. Okay. I am going to restart. I know, everyone's going, oh, come on. And I said, you know, I should be trying to finish off the laps, but you know. They can't all be awesome laps. Everybody that's watching is probably doing the same, has gone through the same thing, no doubt. Right, so let's chase after digit here. Point 0.1 of a second in front of the ghost, which is almost point 0.2 straight away. I know I can get that back through here. Alright, 44 triple one to beat, which is my um, my best. 44-144, not bad. That was really tight through there, nice. Held a lot of speed. Flat or lift? Let's find out. Flat. Got enough the grass. That was nice. I think that's my fastest through there. 46.4 is my fastest. Okay, so we're on for a, a decent lap now. It's tempting to go deep there, but you sh really shouldn't. The exit's the key, which I screwed up, but you know. Alright, we lost two or three tenths. I think I'm still up on my best though. Shame we don't have a delta, but you know. I wish that was an option that you could have your delta from your best lap time and you could just display that. Or even just display your, your own ghost from your best lap time, but from a different session, you know. Lost another little bit there. A, I hit the rev limiter, and B, didn't quite get the turns right, but you know, that's uh, a tricky bit of the, the course done, so let's try and get the flow over the back of the track. First, the kink of death. Pretty easy to hit the grass on this.
like that's far out that was full on pucker moment again hey I've got a great idea why don't you go on the grass at 210 while you have to turn I don't think that's a good idea found changing to fifth here is not necessarily a good idea so I'm going to keep it in fourth if we hit limiter we hit limiter just found that it bogs down a bit in fifth just a little lift through there just third to tuck the nose in and then power up over the hill. Keep it tidy, keep it tidy. Could have gone a bit wider there. Alright, we're not doing too bad. Right, super fast blowing now over the yump. A bit wide, but we carried the speed, so it's only worth half a tenth, maybe. Who knows? The stopwatch does that too. A bit wide again. Jump out to the edge or what? Okay, just got to tuck it in nicely here. A bit late. Ah. Like, seriously, last corner right is a what? 6.14, I think that's the fastest I've got to here, so this could be a 7.02. 6.59.5 ahead uh, let's take a guess I think he's two and a half seconds ahead so maybe even three one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three hundred yeah, no, he's definitely further ahead than me Fifty-nine is gone. Seven oh two nine. Well, we've improved. We're doing better. Starting to flow the car a little bit better. Just losing it um, up the hill. And last corner itis. It's probably point five in there. So, you know. 7024. I don't know who's laughing. Come on. Let's go see if we can race, eh? Unexpected error. I don't know. Whoever's watching has been on today and had the same. An unexpected error has occurred when trying to join. Oh, it's 10 minutes to go, man. Oh, come on. That'll be 10 minutes to go. 41 seconds. I don't think I've even done a qualifying lap here. Let's just give it a crack. Was it? Supra's half decent. Supra! Where are you, Supra? Do we even have you? Oh, stink. Yep, there we are. Okay, let's give this a crack. Uh, we haven't even done a qualifying time on this, so let's qualify. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we're going to qualify in Sardinia. Goal time, I guess, is uh, 140s. Uh, one, 141 should be kind of easy to get. 140. 
is definitely where you want to be. So my other account on 140 444 PRT Shadow. See wins there at 138. Who's the world record holder? Wind must be up there. He is his number one. Right. <laughs> I am not going to be anywhere near that. I think that I will pick a 39, mid 39 if there's someone here. Yep. Wrong car. 39.6 and then VGT Mustang. Okay, we're just going to get the first Supra that we come across. It's going to be a 39 low as a here we are. <laughs> so you, YouTube wind. So we're just going to load this. Uh, this is a really good way to um, try and get a feel for the track and breaking points and stuff. On my other account, I've done a done a qualifying time so I kind of know where everything sits but still helps to follow somebody that's faster than you for sure get to see their lines I watched Digit Gaming and he did a review of this track uh, track, track guide he actually said come out of and third there and I just missed the gear change it's a little bit tricky with the steering wheel being turned at the same time need to wait uh, to get on the power there I'll just push the nose wide I think he said come out in fourth there. Feels too low, but he did a 38, 7, I Do you like how my voice went really high there? A bit late on the brakes, not as aggressive as I should be on the down change. Feather the throttle in fifth through here. Change down, turn it in. <laughs> Got it all sorts of wrong. Whoa, if that didn't make you dizzy, it certainly made me dizzy. We'll just restart that because we're right by the uh, start point. Easy done. It's not, it's not the same as the... Hey, come on man. I wasn't that hard on you. Um, that corner is the uh, what am I trying to say not as bad as the chicane of death but it certainly is a deathly right hand turn left hand turn even so somehow he's got more speed because he's pulling away there Bit of wheel spin in second there, so get good drive, but a bit of wheel spin just robs you of going forwards. Well, that's nicer there. Yeah, so changing up to third just stops it from pushing its nose out, stops it from understeering. bit of a grunty motor too at the end of the day it's got some good low down torque you can definitely get out of the corners right in high gears all right so we're trying to get as close to a, a low 140 as possible try going through here properly Well, it's one way I've gone through it. Almost went out of there in first, that would have been uh, deathly. So I lost quite a bit through there.
140.5. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, so coming out in third does help. up a bit. Oh, we're going way too deep. Need Google Maps. Google Maps to get out of that corner. Yeah, lost all the advantage we had. Funnily enough, we've got a half decent drive out of the corner. Ish. I wonder if third would be better out of there, kind of like the first corner. Oh, I did it again. Sheesh. When I'm turning in, it's, it is on the... Uh, heading towards the apex and then I take another slice at it because it looks like it's going to hit the wall. On screen it doesn't say that matchmaking is going to take place in so many minutes, so I don't think I've entered the race properly yet. So we'll just do this lap. Try and get a little bit lower. get on the power early enough. Well, we're a tenth up. That would be nice. So on my other account, uh, I think it's triple four, isn't it? So... triple four so I want to try and get into the 40 point threes maybe that's more like it even though we took some grass much better Forty point three, nice. That's all right. Let's go and have a look and see if we're actually entered in the race or not. I'm beating my other accounts. That's always a good sign. Yeah, I don't think we've entered. Oh, we haven't. Six minutes. Sardinia. Oh, come on, please don't come up with an unexpected error. Ugh. So, for whatever reason, I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to have to restart the connection or app or something. I just can't get into an online race to save myself. Um, what do I do here? What do I do? Let's just try and back out. To the main menu. I don't know, just do something else. A roulette ticket. Thousand, please. Oh! <laughs> Get 500,000. Quick, everybody record that. Four star ticket. Yay! A million credits so far, and me not those that are competitive. Two. Sort it by life. Oil is excellent, so big deal. Don't need to change your heaps of kilometers and it counts that. I don't think it's affecting the oil. Trial laps and then 
give up on trying to get into a race anyway. Big win. Still not letting me in, man. Passcode. Maybe I didn't knock on the door properly. Maybe I've been a bad these banned me from racing online. I don't know. Maybe my Toyo tires low livery is too by a guy in Japan. It's too good. Uh let's see where we're ranking now. Um ninety seventh. That's pretty cool. It's always cool to be on the top one hundred. <laughs> Uh, have you been naughty? Mum sent you to your room. You're supposed to be doing homework. <laughs> Who knows? What time is it where you are? Ninety fifth, ninety seventh. Ah, yeah, yeah. Fusa seven minute qualifying trial. I mean, follow his lines a little bit better because it really helps in that first section I've been able to get 44 points <laughs> it's quite a nice uh, yellow car he's got there I have a feeling he's going to be faster than what Digit was through this section. Oops, slip the car out. No, I think I'm just slower. 44.1 is the best, 44.2, we're a tenth down, not too bad. Okay, we've done a better job than Fusa has through there. Only by a tenth or so. Oof, that was on the limit. That was taking all of the track. The right wheels were on the red and whites. <laughs> Super cut. Might save a replay of that one. Yeah, a little bit down on my 702 lap. That was good. He actually was out on the grass there. Oh, nice. That's good. Just falling a little bit behind Fusa now. He's 7 minutes point three, so we want to try and get as close to his ghost as we can. A little bit of a skid through there again, so I've just got to clean up that, because it affects you all the way up the hill. Get a bad exit out of that corner or just not carry the speed through it, so it's really you know, brake too much and try and accelerate out it, or, yeah, it's tricky. 
because you've got the, this long hill so even if it's a half a half a tenth at the bottom by the top it's a couple of tenths he went on the grass too I've lost a little bit of momentum alrighty into carousel Did all right there. So rev it out and forth. Oh yes, yeah, so didn't you? Race B this week it's definitely tricky through that back sh chicane with the wall man you get it right and it rewards you but get it wrong and it bites hard and wide there every time bit too fast on the entry there right, just starting to get under two tenths now so we're slowly clawing back what we lost that all wrong oh no we've hit the wall how costly has that been five down decision time do we start again we should probably keep going one eighteen middle not too bad so we'll just keep going your own flow at 46 come on Just trying to flow the car a bit more supposed to be a miss hit miss because the miss part at the end is that you've carried a lot of speed into the nasty downhill hairpin chicane downhill off camber left here
Right, well, fast time is 3 minutes 13 just here. So where are we? Oh. Three seconds off the pace almost. Definitely two and a half. Two and a half makes it a 701 high. Carried good speed there. I lifted off and didn't use any brakes. Lifted off earlier, right at the start of the grey, and that seemed to work. Okay, we're not too far off our best time, if not getting better. Just got to get that flow through the back here. Little hazard in the middle of the corner there. Not a bad flow going. I don't know that it's better, but we'll find out. Break at the end of the wall here, just where the two guys are standing. All right, not bad. Okay, we put it together okay. Six minutes and what? Fifteen. I think it's only going to be close to a 702. So boost is on seven minutes point three. We're on seven minutes two point six. We're probably two seconds away from it at the moment, which means that we're not going to be that much better than what we are now. But We've had a good afternoon of trying to attack the track and get closer to that seven minute barrier. Oh, it wasn't even one second slower than that. Ah, oh, well. Not too bad. Thank you for watching, Smithy Smithy Smith. You've been uh, the man of the afternoon, watching for ages, bro. Thanks very much. I haven't succeeded on my quest, but that's okay. We are top 100, or we were <laughs> about 20 minutes ago. We were at 97th in the world. So let's have a look where we are now. Oh, 89th? So we must have been 87th, is what I saw. So that's pretty cool. We're top 100 in the world, which is pretty awesome, I think. Uh, you know, compared to the fastest guy in the world, you know, we're five seconds away, though. So ideally, I always want to try and be 
two or three seconds away from the, the top guys in the world. But uh, five is just a little bit too much, so we've got to find that time, and I think it's just a bit more practice, getting used to the car, finding the, the flow, and we're away giggling. So thanks very much for tuning in and watching. Um, I'm going to take a break and come back to it tomorrow. So uh, give us a like, subscribe if you want to, and uh, I'll see you again um, either tomorrow or the next day. Catch you later.